are you doing? Are we going shopping? Are we going shopping together? Shall we go shopping? <laughs> I put the bag on the floor and then I turn around and Obi's decided that this is his new home. So, I guess we're going shopping, huh? <laughs> Popped out the bag there. I can't even, there he is in the mirror. You want to get out? Yeah, I'll let you down. Good boy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pack my stuff, mate. Can you, can you not? You mind? Can I? I guess you're coming too. <laughs> you want to come for an adventure? Alright. Yes, I'm just going to pack around you. I'm just gonna put my underpants in there. Is that okay? Yeah. You funny boy. All right. Okay, so if you suffer from anxiety, depression, other forms of mental illness, um, you're probably familiar with the term spoons, and that refers to how much energy, uh, like mental capacity, like you have for the day, and everyone has a different amount of spoons from the moment they wake up some people wake up with less spoons than others some activities take more spoons to some people than others um, it also applies if you're an introvert or an extrovert all these sort of things it's sort of like it sort of categorizes every activity you do in your life into how much energy it takes and depending on who you are and how you handle certain situations and your you know mental capacity and your uh, your mental health sorry not capacity that applies to um is how many spoons it takes up so some days i wake up and i feel like i have no spoons some days i wake up and i've got all the spoons I've got like i don't know 10 spoons and i can do everything and everything takes you know one spoon each and I can do like 10 different things and it's awesome some days I wake up and you know maybe I've got five spoons but something that normally would take me one spoon takes two or three spoons and then I'm like exhausted or um, I feel like sometimes I'm in a spoon deficit I feel like I wake up with a certain amount of spoons and I overwork myself and I and I'm exhausted and then I get to the point where I'm like I should be sleeping now but I'm like I have to keep going and doing things and then I'm like in a spoon deficit and I wake up the next day with like less than I should have anyway this is just like my brain trying to compute what this all is but lately because I haven't been going to the gym and I do have to say I feel like the gym gives me more spoons which is weird. The idea of going to the gym really like makes my brain go, oh, I gotta get there. But then getting there and doing the thing and then leaving, I feel like I went there with a certain amount of spoons and I'm leaving with more. Um, but I have to get there. And that's what I'm struggling with at the moment is that because I've left it for so long, I'm getting back into my slump where I feel just sluggish. I'm just hanging out in shit clothes. I'm breaking out. Well, that's hormonal, but still. Um, and I'm just not feeling like energetic like I used to. So I just thought I'd document that because if you are somebody who is dealing with this sort of stuff, um, I have proved it to myself that when I'm not exercising, I'm not getting more spoons in into me. Uh, that For me, personally. This might not apply to everybody else because everyone is different. When I speak about things, I don't want people to think that I'm like, this is how it works for everyone. Everyone's different. But, yeah. Um, if you're in a similar, situ similar, situ similar situation, <laughs> I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I'm currently 
struggling and last night I was bawling my eyes out for no reason just panic attacking for no reason at all uh, today I ate an entire block of chocolate uh, and some Ferrero Rocher's and shit food and I'm not feeling good uh, so yeah just I don't know I just wanted to document that because that's what I do that's uh, I feel like I have to justify every time I film something that's not happy like I don't know if you guys notice this but if I'm filming something and I'm not like hey guys today we're doing such and such I feel like I have to justify why I'm having a deep talk I don't have to justify it this is my channel I can make whatever I want <laughs> and you don't have to watch it but it might help someone and if it helps someone then I'm happy that it's done that I don't know I think I want to start like a, a vlog series that's kind of advicey. I guess I get so many questions from you guys, emails, DMs, tweets, everything about everything, Snapchats. You know, like for people feeling bad, not feeling the best, going through something, wanting my help, and I feel like I can't answer everyone. But maybe if I opened like a video thing that's like, I don't know, Luna's advice, <laughs> what would you call it? Um, like, the, you know how that people do the dear, dear whoever's and send them letters for help? Maybe it would be easier because then I could just talk instead of having to write massive paragraphs. I don't know, I'm thinking out loud right now. Um, having said that, that Stupid Cupboard, my series, if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. I'll link it in the description, but head over to my main channel. I'm super proud of it. I'm super excited about it. Um, I have to give huge thanks to Lyneth, who helps me with every aspect of this. He helps me write. He helps me film. He helps me, like, pep up for the shoots. Um, just all the things. And then also to Mitchell... Um, aka Mega Mitch, who made the intro for the series. Uh, and yeah, I'm inviting a bunch of more people to come work on it with me to be in it. And I'm just. Uh, I'm excited about it, but I'm too tired and spoonless right now <sighs> to show enthusiasm. So, anyway, I just wanted to, to just say that. And I've been talking for. 740 minutes 740 minutes so look how like look at this this is this is disgusting like that is a fucking Mount Vesuvius right there that is Mount Agung about to erupt in Bali and the bags right there like am I checking in for a flight what's going on anyway I will see you soon.